recent inflation that we have seen will be temporary. It's not something that's endemic. Um, I expect it to last, um, however, for several more months and to see high annual rates of inflation through the end of this year. Oh, there you go. What she's not telling you is that President Biden is trying his best to make sure inflation isn't just a phase, but the new normal. The president is putting forward the largest federal spending plan in history, a whopping six trillion dollars. Of course, you won't see any of that money. In fact, you'll be made poorer. Under Biden's proposal, Trump's tax cuts for low and middle income Americans will be allowed to expire in 2025. If these cuts aren't replaced or extended, Biden would be breaking his promise to not raise taxes on anyone making less than four hundred thousand dollars a year. Joining us now is Dr. Ben Carson, former HUD secretary and the founder of the American Cornerstone Institute. Dr. Carson, thank you for joining me tonight. I, I think that w none of us are surprised uh, that Joe Biden is breaking a promise. I think many of the things that are said are like from a grab bag just to perhaps get elected. Uh, this, this clearly can be tragic if we continue to allow it uh, to unfold. What is your take on this, sir? Well, the, the sad part to me, you know, having spent, you know, my entire professional career as a pediatric neurosurgeon and concerned about the welfare of children is seeing what we are doing to their future. <clears throat> These things cannot done, be done without consequences. And it was Thomas Jefferson who said it is immoral to steal from future generations. This is exactly <clears throat> what we're doing in creating mounds of amazing debt that somebody's going to have to deal with. Not only that, but even currently, you look at the impact of flooding the system with money, but not having the equivalent abundance of services <coughs> and goods. That automatically creates inflation, as Milton Freeman eloquently talked about. And we are it's almost as if we've, we've read all the books and we say, yes, we too want to have the same problems that Argentina had and that Venezuela had and that all the c countries who did the same thing had. Somehow we're going to be different. I don't think we're going to be different. And we're smart enough. We should be. I think the average American person knows that we are creating a monstrous problem for ourselves. Well, and sir, we, we've, we lived through the Carter years, uh, right? We've seen a lot of different presidencies. We've seen that with what President Trump did, that this is not normal, that leadership matters, that standards can be set. And it is very strange, sir, for adult people, men and women, uh, Joe Biden's been in office for almost 50 years now, for them to suggest things that we know historically there is not one successful effort to implement this, the, the spending of money, it's almost yeah. like it's monopoly money at this point, like it's water. <laughs> That's correct. And nowhere in the world, nowhere historically, has the big push to so socialism worked. It always seems good in the beginning when you still have a pile of money to deal with. Um, but as Margaret Thatcher said, it's great until you <laughs> run out of other people's money. And, and you will run out of other people's money because, first of all, people won't be making as much money, but also many very successful people will take their money and go elsewhere. That's exactly what happened in France some years ago when they became wild with their taxes. <laughs> and it's exactly what will happen to us as well. Not to mention the fact that, you know, we put a big uh, stop sign mm -hmm. on the manufacturing and some of the things that were drawing people here. It uh, you know, it's just going to have a horrible consequence. It's almost as though uh, it's a horrible th thing to even have to consider that they they want this to occur, but we will have to make sure they're not successful. Uh, Dr. Carson, thank you for being with us tonight. Your insight's always terrific. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tammy.